2,000 years ago, Jesus warned his followers that they would always face persecution uh, for the rest of time. And those verses, though, they don't always make sense to us for those who live in the West, do they? I mean, we live in democracies with religious freedom. But in the persecuted world, those verses make perfect sense to believers there because they're continually facing persecution and everything from uh, beatings to torture, imprisonment, and even murder. Now, there are two days in the year that you can almost guarantee there's gonna be persecution, and that's Christmas and that's Easter. Now, I filmed this video a couple days ago, so I can't tell you what happened if there were any attacks, but the point is, again, that it's going on around you all the time. You know, and the way I look at it, the church is caught in a vice, and on the one hand, you might have radical Islam that's continually crushing the church, and on the other hand, you'd have governments that have massive budgets, unlimited budgets to crush the church, and they never stop working, and yet they can't stop the church. And in fact, it's the persecution that makes the church grow. So whatever is going on in your life, when you look at the sorry state of the world, or maybe the state of the church in your country, don't be discouraged. Be encouraged by the church eternal and this strange animal that grows best where it suffers most.